Hi, this is Miss Palomino from Highland Town Elementary Middle School, number 237. How are you? I hope everyone is well. Uh, today is May 7th, 2020, and this is Middle School Esau, and we are going to continue talking about the body this week. So yesterday was Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. Today is Thursday, May 7th, 2020, and tomorrow will be Friday, May 8th, 2020. The high temperature will be 62 degrees. The low temperature will be 46 degrees, and today it will be partly cloudy. So for this activity, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil. We're going to do another dictation. Entonces voy a deletrear una palabra y vas a escribir lo que escuchas. So you're going to write the date, May 7th, 2020, dictation. Number one. C-H-I-N. Number two. C H E S T Number three C H E E K S Chin 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 chest, 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 cheeks, 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 number one, chin, number two, chest, number three, cheeks, chin, chin, quijada, chin, chin, chest, pecho, chest, chest, cheeks, cachetes, cheeks, cheeks, cheeks. So our objective today is I can describe pain in my body using sentence frames. I can describe pain in my body using sentence frames. Yo puedo describir dolor en mi cuerpo utilizando sentence frames. Um, so today we are going to listen, we are going to speak, we are going to read, we are going to write, we are going to text or email a photo of our work to Miss Palomino, o si quieren, o si, o si pueden, we are going to turn in our work on Google Classroom. Vamos a entregar nuestro trabajo uh, por Google Classroom. All right, entonces al final... Tu trabajo va a parecer algo así. Entonces, my, espacio, una palabra, un parte del cuerpo, hurts. Hurts significa duele. Hurts significa duele. Entonces, estamos hablando sobre dolor en nuestro cuerpo. Hurts significa duele. For example, my knee hurts. My knee hurts. Hurts. Mi rodilla duele. My knee hurts. My elbow hurts. My elbow hurts. My elbow hurts. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. My ear hurts. My ear hurts. My ear hurts. My chest hurts. My chest hurts. My chest hurts. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. My throat hurts. My wrist hurts.
hurts. My wrist hurts. My wrist hurts. My hand hurts. My hand hurts. My hand hurts. My shoulder hurts. My shoulder hurts. My shoulder hurts. My ankle hurts. My ankle hurts. My ankle hurts. Entonces, en tu papel o por Google Classroom, vas a escribir la fecha y cinco frases así. My, un espacio, hurts. Y les voy a mostrar unas fotos y vas a llenar las frases con la palabra correcta que corresponde con la foto. So, number one. ¿Cuál parte del cuerpo es eso? Vas a llenar la frase con la palabra que corresponde con la foto. My, ¿cuál parte del cuerpo? Hurts. ¿Cuál parte del cuerpo duele en esa foto? Number two. My, hurts. My, hurts. My, hurts. Number three. ¿Cuál parte del cuerpo duele en esa foto? My hurts. My hurts. My hurts. Number four. ¿Cuál parte del cuerpo duele en esa foto? My hurts. My hurts. My hurts. Number five. ¿Cuál parte del cuerpo duele en esas fotos? My hurts. My hurts. My hurts. Y eso es importante porque tal vez necesitas ir a un doctor y explicar dónde duele. Entonces el trabajo va a parecer algo así. Number one. Number two. Number three, number four, number five. Esto es el trabajo del día. Utilizando las fotos, llena las frases con la palabra correcta. Five sentences in total. So take a photo of your work and send the photo to Miss Palomino by email or through WhatsApp, y también pueden entregarlo por Google Classroom. So questions, want to talk? Call or text Miss Palomino between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hágame saber si tiene algunas preguntas o si quieren hablar entre las 10 y las 2 lunes a viernes. All right, I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone.